dear student let us start a new lesson areas related to circles okay of this is of class 10th so here yes we will learn basic formulas here first one area of circle yes we know area of circle is we have learned this one pi r square so this is the area of the circle this is in square units the area is always in square units so then we have already learned circumference or perimeter of circle okay so when we have a circle here so this is what we call area of circle this total region is called area of circle and this is the border line this is what we call perimeter or circumference of circle the perimeter or circumference of circle is 2 pi r okay so then here we will learn area of sector of circle okay so when we have a circle so this is a center so here we have two radius okay we have already learned sector in the last section so the sector is nothing but which is bounded by two radii and part of circle that is arc of circle okay so here i call arc is a p b okay so this reason the this reason is called sector okay here i have a angle theta okay the total the center angle is how much 360 degree okay here i have taken this angle is theta okay so now here uh, the area of sector this the formula given for this is theta by 360 into pi r square when they have mentioned area means we need to write here area of circle okay this is nothing but theta by 360 into pi r square this is also in square units okay so now area of segment of angle theta okay so here segment yes we have already learned segment so see here in a given circle this is center root so yes here we have a called and we have a part of circle i call this as apd yes the area of segment means this is an area of segment we will find out the area of segment by using area of sector okay so here if you consider yes this is sector okay here this is sector yes we need to find out this area only okay so what to do here in area of sector we need to subtract area of triangle yes in this sector we need to remove triangle then we will get this reason okay so it is nothing but the area of segment can be written as area of sector minus area of triangle Okay, the area of sector is nothing but 3 theta into 360 degree into pi r square okay so here area of triangle here we will use if there is a we will use if there is similar triangle means we use other formula so otherwise we use half into base into height okay this is what the formula so next here length of an arc of sector of angle theta okay so here length of an arc of sector okay so see so this is a circle of radi of center o so this is sector we need to find out length of arc so this is a arc okay so here this is a arc we need to find out length of arc i call this as a p b so here length of arc arc of arc that is here arc is a p b is here we will use length means we know this is a perimeter of circle yes here if the angle is theta then we will use formula theta by 360 degree into 2 pi r okay here if they have asked length means we need to use perimeter here so if area 
area means we need to use pi r square that is area. So first exercise of area is related to circle. The first question is the area of two circles are 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter respectively. Find the radius of circle which has circumference equal to sum of the circumference of two circles. Okay. They have given two circles here. Okay. Uh, the radii are 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter. Yes, I, here I take first circle. This is circle 1 and circle 2. Okay. The radius of first circle is the R1 I take 19 centimeter. Then circle 2. The radius is R2 I take 9 centimeter. Find the radius of the circle. Okay. We need to find out the radius of another that circle that is third circle. Okay. So here I take radius for third circle is R. Okay. So what is they have given? The circle which has circumference. Its circumference is equal to the sum of the circumference of these two circles that is circumference circumference of this circle is equal to sum of circumference of these two circles so then here we need to find out circumference so circumference of this is 2 pi r1 ok 2 into pi is ok I just write pi as it is so r1 r1 is how much 19 centimeter ok so here we can easily write ok so here 19 to ja 38 pi. Okay, so for this circle 2, 2 pi r2, the circumference, I call this as circumference 1, this is circumference 2. Okay, so this is circumference 2 is 2 into pi, I just try to learn as it is, r2 is 9 centimeter, then 9 to ja 18 centimeter. Okay, 18 pi, pi is also there. 18 pi centimeter. Okay. So this is 38 pi centimeter. So for this we need to find the circumference. I take the circumference of third circle is 2 pi r. Okay. We don't know radius but they have given a condition. The circumference of this circle is that is circumference of third circle is equals to the sum of circumference of these two that is c1 plus c2. Okay. c3 is how much? 2 pi r, c1 is 38 pi plus c2 is 18 pi. Okay, so here I take common, the common r, I just write down 2 pi r as it is, I take here 2 and pi common, 2 pi is common. So here this can be done as, if 2 is common here, then we have 19, because 19 to the 38, so pi is common, then here 9, 9 to ja 18, so 2 is outside, pi is already outside, okay, then here we have this one, so here, I just write down R1 here, 2 pi, so here 19 plus 9, this is nothing but 28, okay, so then here, uh, here I have 2 pi, here I have written only R, here 2 pi there, here 2 pi into 2 pi becomes here divided by 2 pi. Okay. So here 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled. Okay. So here 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled. Then we have R is equals to 28 centimeter. This is the radius of the third circle R. Second question is. The radii of two circles are 8 cm and 6 cm respectively. Okay. So here they have given two circles. Okay. I just write down everything here. Circle 1. Okay. Again circle 2. The radii. Okay. The radii of first one is R1. 6 cm. Second. Sorry. This is 8 cm. Second circle R2 is 6 cm. Find the radius of circle. Okay, we need to find out the radius of circle. That is third circle. This is second circle. So, third circle, we need to find out the radius here. For this, I take radius as R. Okay. The third circle has circle having area. This has area equal to the sum of the areas of two circles. Okay. 
so area of this circle is sum of areas of these two circles so last question they have given the perimeters are equal but here they have given the uh, areas are equal okay here i find out area i call a1 a1 is pi r square okay pi r1 here i just write down pi as it is r1 is 8 square so 8 square we know 64 pi okay centimeter square the area is in square units okay the area of second circle is a2 okay then here pi r2 square pi i just write down as it is r2 that is 6 square 6 square is 36 pi centimeter square we need to find out the area of this that is a3 i take pi the area r radius is r okay so what the condition they have given the area of this circle that is a3 is equals to sum of the areas of do these two the area of this is a1 and this is a2 okay then here a3 is pi r square a1 is 64 pi a2 is 36 pi okay here i write down r square okay here take out pi common we have 64 plus 36 okay so here pi is there but pi i, I send here so into pi becomes here divided by pi okay here pi pi get cancelled okay then we have r square is equals to 64 36 is 100 okay the r square can be done as r equals to i remove square here it becomes 100 so it is nothing but r is equals to root 100 is 10 okay when we remove root we have plus or minus 10 okay here the radius is always positive that's why the radius is 10 okay the radius is r is 10 centimeter this is the radius of third circle